right. So in honor of recent um, Michael Keaton being announced to possibly reprise his role in like a Flash crossover movie kind of thing um, as the original Batman. Oh, I, you know, Adam West, whatever. But uh, Adam West was good. The 1989 Tim Burton Batman. Um, Michael Keaton has been announced that he is in talks to reprise his role as an older Batman, you know, in the Tim Burton kind of universe. I don't think it's going to be directed by Tim Burton, which I think will kind of ruin that a little bit, but that's okay because I've always wanted him to come back as, you know, maybe like Batman Beyond with Terry McGinnis, you know, he's the, the young Batman who the old Batman kind of passes the torch to. Um, but yeah, in honor of that, um, I thought it would be cool to maybe take a look at some of these. This is a, uh, here we go, a Topps picture card series, 132 cards with 22 stickers. It's pretty dang cool. It's like, if you think about it, these are like kind of like memes, you know, like back for the, from the dead, you know, no deals, Grissom. It's just, it, so this, this little trading card series kind of just goes through uh, the movie. And there's like fun little descriptions on, on the backs of the cards. So I figured it might be fun to bust a few of them out and do a few of these every once in a while. So this is card number, number one. Introduction. In May of 1939, Detective Comics published the first edition of what has become a half-century-long battle against crime. Now Bob Kane's legendary hero is reborn. Whoop. Hold on. Is reborn in an exciting new film by Tim Beetlejuice Burton. A major release for Warner Brothers in the summer of 1989. Batman captures the serious dramatic spirit of the 1939 original. It boasts an impressive cast and elaborate state-of-the-art production values and special effects. Topps, a longtime friend of the Caped Crusader, is proud to present this latest card and sticker collection, continued on card number two. So each card kind of leads into the next one, you know? So kind of, kind of cool. And, uh, kind of reads out like a story almost which is neat so i'm gonna cut away to showing the card and then i'm just gonna kind of read a few of them maybe i'll do like 10 or so at a time you know but there you are have a good day who is the batman what is he batman is a shadow in the darkness as elusive as a dream High above the seamy streets of Gotham, he is a criminal's nightmare, a dark avenging hero, a complex character. The only hope for a desperate city, Batman. Batman is portrayed by Michael Keaton. Bruce Wayne. The Batman's alter ego, a sophisticated, enigmatic millionaire at the age of nine young Bruce witnessed the brutal murder of his well-to-do parents. Devastated, he pledges his entire life to combating evil, a feat he accomplishes under the guise of Batman. Bruce Wayne is portrayed by Michael Keaton. The Clown Prince of Crime. What manner of creature is the Joker? A horribly disfigured villain, insane with hatred for humanity the terror of Gotham City and a formidable nemesis for Batman. Debonair, vicious, a twisted sense of humor mixed with a maniacal of appetite for evil. This is the Clown Prince of Crime. Call him Joker. The Joker is portrayed by Jack Nicholson. Jack Napier, alias the Joker. A dandy who believes murder isn't something you should be ashamed of. Jack Napier, kingpin Carl Grissom's right-hand man, is a dapper and ruthless criminal. But a horrible chemical accident radically alters Napier's appearance 
and his sense of humor. He then emerges as the infamous arch-villain, the Joker. Jack Napier is portrayed by Jack Nicholson. Vicky Vale. Beauty, brains, and the courage to go where no woman has gone before. Places such as the Bat Cave, for instance. Vicky Vale is a world-class photographer who joins forces with the Gotham Globe when Batman first appears. Their goal is to shed some light on the Dark Avenger and maybe win a Pulitzer or two. But this professional job becomes a terrifying adventure when the Batman's nemesis, the Joker, takes an interest in Vicky. Vicky Vale is portrayed by Kim Basinger. Alexander Knox. Alexander Knox, 30-ish, is a crime reporter for the Gotham Globe. He joins forces with photographer Vicky Vale when the Batman sightings begin. Knox is an average type guy, not very handsome, not exactly neat, certainly not rich, but reasonably dependable when the going gets rough. And the going gets pretty rough before the Dark Knight detective and the Clown Prince of Crime have a final settling of their differences. Alexander Knox is portrayed by Robert Wool. Commissioner Gordon. His name is James Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. An aging symbol of justice in a city gone mad with crime and despair. An anachronism. But wait. Two events. The rise of stalwart DA Harvey Dent and the appearance of that mysterious winged Avenger, Batman have changed the physiological, psychological, psychological climate of Gotham City. Now there is hope and Jim Gordon can smile again. Commissioner Gordon is portrayed by Pat Hingle. Alfred the Butler. Bruce Wayne's manservant since he was a child. Alfred is a dutiful butler a surrogate parent, and a humble keeper of Gotham's most curious secret. If trust were a living entity, it would surely be Alfred Pennyworth. Whenever the Dark Avenger is lost in the mazes of haunting memory or confounded by some tangible, villainous threat, Alfred is there, ever resourceful, to help him through the crisis. Alfred Pennyworth is portrayed by Michael Gull. D.A. Harvey Dent it's a city riddled with crime and corruption, but a city that can be saved. That's the new DA's message to the citizens of Gotham. It also serves as a warning to the underworld. Harvey Dent, like the Dark Knight detective, inspires the population with hope, and the crime kingpins and their sleazy cohorts will soon be brought to justice. But fate can be unfair and tragically ironic, as Mr. Dent will eventually discover. Harvey Dent is portrayed by Billy D. Williams. Crime Boss Carl Grissom. The foulness of Gotham City rolled into one unpleasant human package. Consumed by greed, mad with passion, Carl Grissom is the undisputed leader of the urban crime scene. He is a man totally devoid of scruples and utterly lacking in charm. Jack Napier is his right-hand man and the ultimately, and ultimately his executioner. Carl Grissom is portrayed by Jack Palance. Alicia Hunt. A beautiful, if mindless, young woman, torn between two monsters. Once upon a time, Alicia Hunt belonged to Gotham crime boss Carl Grissom. But that's before Jack Napier entered the picture. They carried on behind Grissom's back and got away with it for quite a while. When Grissom found out, he schemed to end Jack's days and sealed his own fate in the process. Alicia survived. Now she belongs to the deranged monster created by Grissom and the Gotham's Dark Knight, a monster known as the Joker. Alicia Hunt is portrayed by Jerry Hall. And that's it for today. Peace.